Dr. Alex Vodak is the leading expert on harm reduction in Australia. He explained us what the world can learn from Australian drug policies. The needle syringe program began on November the 12th, 1986 in Sydney and then spread from uh, that state, New South Wales, to all the other states over the next two years. And uh, it's been very effective. HIV rates have been uh, very low among people who inject drugs by international standards, rising a bit recently. Um, hepatitis C rates were very high, but they've halved in the last 15 years. There are still some very significant gaps. Uh, we don't have harm reduction throughout the whole country uh, in, within our correctional system. So drugs are available, of course, like in the rest of the world. Uh, very high risk injecting practices in the prisons. Harm reduction services don't really get to the people who need them most. Uh, the people who are most socially disadvantaged, economically disadvantaged, indigenous people, people from ethnic communities. And unfortunately, the, the federal cabinet in this city in, on August the 19th, 1997, decided that we wouldn't have heroin assisted treatment. So we badly need that. We've still only got one safe injecting centre, uh, that's in Sydney, uh, for a, a country of seven and a half million square kilometres, a big country, um, population of 23 million people. And we, we probably need a dozen or so safer injecting facilities around the country. And we still have only had one going since 2001. We need more. I would say to the Prime Minister that the criminal justice approach uh, has failed. It gets 66% of government expenditure. Uh, the taxpayer gets a very poor return on that considerable investment. That's about $1.1 billion a year that gets spent on customs, police, courts and prisons, those sorts of things. And really, the area has to be redefined as a health and social initiative primarily.